What's up, Gemini Gate? Happy Monday, guys. Let's see what's going on with you. All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box, you guys. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Hit that subscribe. I appreciate y'all for being here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Whoa. Okay, there's that codependency. Didn't we see that one yesterday, was it? Was it yesterday? I don't remember. Sometime, whenever I use this deck last, um, I only saw codependency. I kept seeing it while I was shuffling too, so there could be some type of codependency or addiction uh, going on here. Something's worth waiting for, uh, Gemini's. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ooh. Or divine alignment is what I like to say. Not necessarily timing. Let's see what's going on here. We have passion. Ooh, I like, I like, I like, I like. Okay. Um, we have let go of control issues. Yes. <laughs> and then we have chemistry here um, on the bottom. Okay, so let's see what's going on here here passion we have passion we have chemistry we have a lot going on here so i feel like there may be like a super intense attraction that you have with someone um gemini yeah you waiting on somebody or they're waiting on you four of swords are you on a break from someone two of cups page of swords um the hangman yeah so something may be stuck in limbo again it could be um someone that is doing some healing work could be some uh mental health type stuff could be someone that just needs to kind of get their mind right okay we have the temperance here oh yes <laughs> the ace of pentacles and the ten okay so this is the beginning and the end right here so i feel like something may be um either ending and starting again or um it's something reaches like it's it's peak if, if that makes sense so um these kind of mean the same thing but they don't okay y'all know i've said tens are beginnings and endings so i feel like there could be a new start um or a um uh an ending before a new start if that makes sense you guys and i kept seeing the empress card too uh when i was shuffling for you as well so some of you may be heavy into your self-care right now or this person sees you like in a very positive light. So, you know, I feel like some of you guys may be a little bit concerned or worried um, or your fears and stuff are unfounded. So we'll see. But I am seeing like heavy, heavy patience here. If you want to be patient or wait or whatever for someone, some of you may be on a break from somebody. Some of you are like watching somebody or they're watching you. Yeah, somebody's like working. Could be working on your, themselves. Like I said, I feel like it's something mental going on here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. There's something kind of like mental going on uh, for some of you. Like they're working on their thought process. Someone may have like anxiety issues. Yeah, I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles. Some of you could be a money thing as well. Someone trying to build themselves financially. Uh, I'm seeing the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, so for some of you, this person is like trying to build financially or trying to build themselves up. They may have had some type of loss too, like some type of financial loss that they're trying to. Uh, and then they come out again, the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. They're trying to like re rebuild themselves from, um, if that makes sense, you guys. Nine of Wands here on the bottom. So yeah, I feel like you guys... Um, you guys go, are going to eventually talk to this person. Now, I don't know. The Queen of Swords here coming up under passion. Eh, I don't know. I, I feel like some of you guys may be just kind of like, eh, about this situation. I keep getting like friends for some of you. So is this a friend or someone you you consider a friend? Or you are... Um, something's going from a friendship to more. But yeah, I keep, I'm getting something like kind of casual or you've just like, you're, you're kind of not feeling it like you were. Six of Swords here. Um, as you come back together with this person, the Chariot could be a Cancer for some of you. 
yeah like you you're not could be a libra um a sag yeah i feel like some of you guys you're not feeling something like you were um yeah that's that's kind of what i'm getting some of you might be on the fence too if you even want to like continue with this or if it's even worth it to you at the end of the day now i do feel like though whoever this is is working on themselves and again it could be like financially they could have taken some type of hit um financially and that's that's their focus you know what i mean um but i'm seeing like a need for patience this is what i'm getting here i feel like somebody is healing could be you going through some type of healing process uh, but I feel like ultimately you two will come together better than uh, when you separate it. But I'm just kind of getting a, like a friendship type of vibe. Like I'm not getting, well, we'll see what the other cards say. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like meeting somebody halfway to it. This person um, meeting you halfway. There, there may be a need to, for more compromise too in this, in this connection. Some of you are at a distance from this person as well. Like they have to travel to you or vice versa. So I feel like, you know, that might be getting in the way of the distance between you two. For some of you, it's just a, a emotional, mental distance. or you just not speaking, uh, Gemini's? And I feel like whenever you guys aren't talking, they're like working, like they put all their energy, they pour all their energy into work. So they don't have to like deal with stuff head on. Whereas you might be the type to uh, want to talk things out. Um, oh yeah, that makes sense. Some of you may start to get turned off by a person because of their um, their communication skills too. That makes sense. Yeah, some of you you don't you you're not a fan of somebody's communication style, like how they deal with problems or conflict. It doesn't uh, align with how you deal with problems and conflict. And I feel like it's starting to uh, kind of get under your skin a little bit, uh, Gemini. Even if you don't notice it right away, uh, I feel like some of you guys, I don't want to say you're losing desire for a person, but like, it's not like it was, if, if that makes sense. Now, it's not to say it can't be rebuilt, uh, but I feel like some of you guys, you just kind of want to uh, like talk something out or work something out, but there's like a delay with it yeah eight of cups here mm -hmm. there's a queen of swords again here on the bottom again the queen of swords is very um get down to the root of the matter like get down to the nitty-gritty but i do feel like with the eight of cups it could be like you know a need to pull away from something or somebody pulled away or you did uh gemini's i feel like some of you guys are kind of pulling away because a lot of you aren't in separation from somebody yeah six of swords you're not in separation it's just how this person shows up for you I feel like it's starting to like kind of bother you if that makes sense uh Gemini so y'all have to tell me let me know yeah nine of wands I feel like you you're going to get what it is that you're wanting yeah thank you spirit <laughs> That fits perfectly. It could be a Sag. I feel like somebody's going to try to come in and get that passion back. Because this person knows that this person can feel your, your kind of detachment. Okay? And again, it could be the other way around. So take it how it resonates. Okay? So if you know, Gemini's, that you've been kind of slacking with this. Um, and, you know, you can kind of feel this person's energy pulling. It might be time to, like, step up and, and bring some passion into it. Uh, but I feel like somebody's going to try to bring back the passion uh, to keep you. Yeah, Eight of Swords are on the bottom to keep you in a nutshell. Uh, because like I said, you're detaching from something. And I get this in the readings all the time. Like you're, you're tired of waiting on something or somebody to get it together or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of feel like you guys are, um, you're not not saying that you're not invested because you're here like you're you still want this person but it's like something's not there it's just something missing gemini it's like, i can't quite put my finger on it but it's it, it will do that to someone that someone that loves communication someone that their love language is communication and if someone's not giving them that uh gemini i feel like a, a, your needs some of your needs aren't being met and it, it feels as if you are you're kind of losing attraction uh 
to this person, if that makes sense. Not saying you're losing love, but attraction, desire, um, things like that. There's that Queen of Swords again. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yes. Again, this could be too. the Queen of Swords could be you trying to control something too, um, like, you know, wanting to talk or wanting to things to kind of go your way, which isn't a bad thing. I don't feel like Six of Cups, especially if if what you want, Gemini's, is beneficial for the relationship. Um, but yeah, I do get heavy, especially with the Queen of Swords. Eventually you will talk. Um, eventually you will uh, be able to get down to the nitty-gritty okay sometimes a page of source can be about like delayed messages a message that's delayed but it won't always be that way eight of wands here so I feel like whatever it is you're you're um, stressing over a word about it won't be that but I also get to because the Queen of Swords can can kind of cut, cut deep with their words um, so I'd be cautious of that I am going to get more clarification, but I'd be a little cautious of how you're communicating um, Gemini's as well, because I feel like this person does listen to you or listen to what you say uh, quite a bit. OK, and this and this person may also be afraid to say anything to you because they know that you're going to be pretty much on their asses. <laughs> so, you know, that, that could be why they they uh they've delayed um sending you a message or delayed say, say anything uh, to you because there may be like a fear or an intimidation there uh gemini's but i do see that um yep <laughs> the knight of wands again you guys i feel like you're gonna get some type yes you oh gemini's my word hold on let me look at these before i show y'all because uh, you know, they be on some bullshit. Okay, so here we have the three of swords here on the bottom. And look what flipped over. The seven of pentacles, the nine of swords, the nine of cups, and the temperance card. Yeah, you've grown very cold towards someone. Very, very cold. But I feel like this person is, is going to try to, like, thaw you out a little bit. <laughs> I feel like you you feel like yep splitting the deck I'm seeing the sun so you dealing with fire sign um yeah I, I feel like it's simply because you some of you guys feel neglected you feel abandoned you feel like your needs aren't being met uh Gemini's like like I said I feel like this person may have pulled away there's a seven of pentacles again yeah this person may have pulled away um you know, whereas, like I said, you two handle conflict differently or, or handle fights differently or your love languages are different. And I feel like you, you've you grown very cold towards someone and they can feel that too. And it's stressing them out. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Listen, listen y'all. Whoever this is has been stacking their money or at least they want to. King of Pentacles and the Devil. Now, when I see this, this energy here, first of all, it's both Earth. So, you may be dealing with an Earth sign of Capricorn or Taurus. So, whoever this is, is very, um, they're, what I noticed with this is, like, they're not really communicators, if that makes sense. They usually, especially with this energy, um, they usually show love through material. So, this could be what this person has been trying to do, like, save up for something or, you know, stack up their money so they can um, come in and like show you that they um, mean it or show you that they, um, you know, want to be in your life or whatever the case may be. But this is like someone that's very, can be a workaholic and again, um, are, is very money focused and they, they show their affection through material stuff, physical, you know what I mean? They don't really show affection through words like you do gemini's like you would prefer like you would prefer words hope what i'm saying is making sense um to you guys but yeah that's that's kind of what i get and i feel like someone is coming in to like kind of like i said thaw you out a little bit because <laughs> i feel like a lot of you guys have just gotten very cold you're bored um i feel like some of you guys especially if you're separated from this person it's like they've been doing this to like work on themselves build up their finances or whatever the case may be 
um but this too with the eight of cups with the worth waiting for i feel like some of you guys may be starting to feel like something or someone isn't worth the wait yeah but that's not gonna stop this person from trying to come in and, and um move things into calmer waters with you but you feel like something is not moving the way that it needs to you feel like something's moving too slow and you could be right uh gemini's okay i'm never gonna uh say that that you're wrong because you have the right to to um to think that something's moving at a at a slow pace now it says allow the situation to unfold naturally so try not to um try to control anything and just do you uh gemini's but yeah i feel like you guys you're detaching from something and i keep getting that in every read like you're not you're not as passionate towards someone and again it doesn't mean that you don't I'm feeding for your kids. So I'm telling you, this person is going to come in to try to light the fire back. That's kind of what I get. It doesn't mean you don't love them and care about them. It's just you, you're not attracted to them. Like if, if you're dealing with someone that is always not meeting your needs or disregarding your needs, um, I'm worried you reject me. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Baby, because you're coming off very cold. Um... Gemini's you're coming off very cold uh and detached okay like you just you're just kind of over it I love you I haven't seen that one in a while for you guys now what flipped out I, I usually take the type the top one um of the flip outs and this one is I love looking at your pictures yeah um I hope it's not too late for us yeah so I feel like you just kind of like eh you're not feeling it like you were you're not you're not attracted um and you you have to uh why haven't i heard from you now this could literally be either energy like this could be your energy it could be theirs um but you know yeah child because i'm seeing like kind of a detachment on both ends but i feel like for on their end it's more so this is how they deal with like conflict or something wrong or um this is this is how they deal with stuff going wrong in their life is they isolate and you may also do this but you may not do it like to the extent of this person and if something's going on in the relationship i feel like you may want to talk about it um and get down to the root of the problem that's the queen of swords but this person might not do that they don't they don't handle problems like you uh, and i feel like that's kind of like turning you off a lot something about this, per this person's communication style turns you off uh, severely uh gemini's this time will be different yeah you're a damn lie <laughs> i don't feel good enough for you i told you and i feel like you've just gotten very cold because of this person's insecurity and i feel like this person like kind of pulled away in hopes that you know they can they can stack up or whatever the case whatever they gotta do and they can come back to you perfect but that's not how this works that's why i don't believe in the whole divine timing and all that other nonsense things don't work out because of you because of you or that person it's not because it's not time because if you attracted that person that it's time you see what i'm saying what happens is shit like this happens. I don't feel good enough. I'm insecure. You know, I'm not ready. I'm non-committal. I have these fears. I have trust issues. That's why it didn't work. Not because it's not time. <laughs> I can't take the silence anymore. That's that's an unpopular opinion, you know, but it has nothing to do with time. Saturday, it's just you're not ready. He can't love you by jagged edge. You got people got to own that and quit using divine timing as a as a way to not be accountable for them not doing the work. I'm sorry. Tuesday. Why do I keep getting all these days of the week for y'all? Like, what is that? Honey? Thinking about you makes me smile. I let my friends or family get in my ear. Oh, that makes sense, too. That makes sense. That could be the one of you as well. <laughs> Could be a water sign for some of you. I haven't seen that one in a while either, that water sign card. This could also just represent emotions as well. Yep, love, hate, relation. I talk, damn, I'm good, man. Where's my hands? Where's my hands at? <laughs> come through, come through, come through. It's like, it's like you on the fence. It's like you, you, 
you don't like how this person operates, but you, you can't totally leave them alone, if that makes sense. You know, the desire is not there like it was. I'm seeing Monday there. Um, I was a fool to let you go. Yeah. Child. I have trust issues. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that? It ain't got shit to do with divine timing. It has nothing to do with that, you guys. <laughs> it's the pe people just don't know how to do the work. I'm going through a lot right now. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I bet you are. This ain't over. We are on a break. Hmm. That's what I get to with that four swords. Like, you two are on a break from something. I'm ready for real this time. Yeah. Child. There's a blessing in this lesson. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I want to reach out, but I don't know what to say. Yeah, I get that too. Because I feel like you, you're you just cold. Like, you just not. You changed me, baby. You don't have that same, you don't have that same energy. Will you pick up if I call? Yeah. I, I can see why this person may feel like you would ignore them or whatever. Walked out of heaven by Jagged Edge. All right, let me shuffle and get a couple of songs in it. And then I'm gonna wrap this on up. Let's see here. You know, let's see. Let's see. All right. Shuffle up. Oh, 25 Reasons by Nivea. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. And then I've seen this before for y'all too. Everything by Marcus Houston. In this song, he's pretty much talking about how he isn't giving up. Like he, even though it seems like he's giving up. It feels like uh, it, it's not not over. Like he's not giving up, pretty much. But anyways, look up um, everything by Marcus Houston, you guys. Listen to it. See if there's anything in there that sticks out at you. Okay. And thank you for watching, you guys. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Peace out.